Padang Bay port from where we are going to the Gili Islands and you can see a big queue waiting to board but everything was very well organized we asked the owner of the hotel we stayed at to organize the transportation for us plus the ferry ticket and he gave it uh, to us as the better price because they all know each other here and he used to work at this boat service so they just brought us straight here to the port we uh, paid the deposit to him and then we paid the rest here and as you see everything is very well organized they bring the cars just here the guys are helping with the luggage and then they put it here stick uh, the sticker of the island you're going to and we're just waiting to board the ship yeah. and our boat is leaving in around yeah. half an hour so we're gonna wait here and head to the paradise here, right? to relax yeah. finally right. oh. Because on Gilis, the only thing you need to do is to swim, snorkel, walk around. There are no scooters on the island allowed, so we will rest from the scooter as well and we'll maybe run the bike or just walk. It took us around two hours to reach the Gili Islands from Bali. And despite the fact that we had to queue for some time and the ferry was late, once it arrived, the crew operated quite smoothly and very fast and after a couple of hours, we reached our destination. Keep in mind guys that after entering the port you will have to pay a so-called island fee which is a usual thing in Indonesia and it was around two dollars. There are only two types of transport on Gili travel gun, bicycles and horse carriages. So unless you're traveling with a very light backpack you will have to take the horse carriage. The island is very small and no matter where you booked your hotel the rate of the ride is the same and it's around ten dollars. <laughs> Our ride was a little bit bumpy because the roads on the island are not very good, but it was very quick and in around 6 to 8 minutes we were already at our hotel. We checked in our hotel, which is just 5 minutes away from the beach, and came to the first beach we saw. Basically, the Gili Islands are all about the beach, snorkeling, any kind of water activities, and just chilling. And actually that's perfect because Bali is so packed with activities, things to see, things to do, and the distance is quite big. So we're super excited that on Gili Islands there's no sights to see. No scooter! <laughs> yeah, Philip is the driver, he's already fed up with riding a scooter every day from morning to the evening. No scooters here. Uh, we're gonna stay here for two days, maybe three days, but I think two days will be enough for seeing the island, which is very small. So there are three Gili Islands, Gili Travel Gun, where we are now, Gili Air and Gili Menos. And the uh, Travel Gun is the biggest and it's, I checked online, it was like three kilometers. Uh, yeah, the length and the width was 1.5 kilometers. So you can basically walk around the island. It won't take you much time. And there is no transport on this island. So either you walk on foot or you take a bicycle. There is also an option of uh, horse carriages and they take you with your luggage from the port to the hotel by horse carriages. Uh, because um, still it takes some time like you wouldn't be walking in the scorching sun with your heavy luggage for half an hour let's say right so yeah uh, we're gonna explore the island and uh, the island is basically popular and famous for its crystal clear blue water and I don't know if it's visible in the camera but the water is very beautiful and it's the just a random beach the first beach we came to okay, so Philip just reminded me the second thing I wanted to say that this island is famous for the nightlife it's a party island, supposedly. There are lots of music bars and clubs and so on. So maybe if we have enough energy, we're gonna check uh, those bars or clubs later in the evening. And there's also a famous night market where you go and eat lots of yummy Asian food. And it opens at 6 p.m. So I think that's the plan for today. So we just went to a random ATM on the way next to the beach to take out the money and it swallowed our card and also swallowed the money. Luckily there was a staff of the bank there and he helped us to open the ATM and gave us back the car. 
but uh, he said that like he can help us with uh, getting back the cash so he advised to go to the central bank office which is just next to the port and we came here and uh, they told us that they can give back the uh, money because we don't have an account here or something like that so we just need to contact our bank in Poland and they will refund the money so yeah in case you'll be here guys just come to the main ATM which is next to the bank just two minutes from the port it's safer here Generally wandering around Gili Islands is a pleasure. The main walking route goes along the sea coast and uh, on the way you'll be passing lots of cafes, restaurants and tons of beautiful exotic flowers. You don't need to go too deep to do the snorkeling, just here near the beach. And this place is packed with this kind of beachside cafes and restaurants. popular activity on the islands is snorkeling. They sell full day boat trips or half day boat trips literally on every corner, especially near the port area. And we highly recommend taking one of those. It's worth the money. our hotel at Gili Travel again and we have a ferry to Nusa Benita at 12.30 so before that we managed to walk around take some nice shots with drone we're gonna eat our breakfast at the cafe which we went yesterday we liked it really much actually we're already here so I will show you this place an amazing view from the second floor and very yummy food we left our luggage it actually wasn't that easy because there are no storage places and we were literally going inside the shops and asking people to store it for money but no one agreed and in the end we decided to go to some hotel and we just asked the lady if we can leave the luggage for money and she was so nice she said that like it's okay to leave it for free even and uh, we were very happy about it so we're gonna have our breakfast then we'll head to the beach maybe chill at some beach bar i will take a swim before we leave to Nusa Penida and then we will continue exploring a new island already If you're thinking that this is for three people, you're wrong. It's only for two. Me and this guy. If I could tell you, I don't think 
you 